House Speaker Kevin McCarthy proposes to raise the debt ceiling, making it clear it must come with spending cuts. And could there be another interest rate hike when the reserve meets in May? Joining us right now, former White House economic advisor Steve Moore. Good morning to you, sir. Great to see you as always. So we Good saw. Morning, John, did you get your uh, taxes done yet? Yes, I did. Yes, I actually got it done over the weekend. You only have. With some help, you know, lots of help. 15 hours left. <laughs> I did. I did file. Speaker McCarthy, by the way, went to Wall Street. He says the GOP would agree to raise the borrowing limit in exchange for spending cuts. This is what the GOP has been saying all along. So let's talk about the astronomical debt our country is already facing and what happens if we continue at this level. Well, we've been talking about this, Jan, haven't we, for the last uh, couple of months, that at some point we're going to have this showdown between the House Republicans who want to bring at least bring this debt a bit under control and Joe Biden is basically saying he won't negotiate. He wants to continue on the financial path that we're on. And I think that most people would agree that we can't do that, that this is a this is a train wreck that we're headed towards if we continue to raise our borrowing uh, to it's right now thirty two trillion dollars is our debt, uh, Jan, and we're headed to 50 trillion if we stay on this course over the next eight or nine years. So there will be this clash between Joe Biden and the House Republicans and what what the speaker said yesterday was hey we want some we will raise the debt ceiling but you have to agree to get us back onto the path towards a balanced budget right right there's got to be some kind of limits when you talk about right. raising a debt limit and and the interest payments alone we, we talked about this it's 400 billion dollars on just 31 trillion dollars of debt on just 31 and i say that because we know it's increasing and increasing so much but the, the thing is when, when you think about just the interest payments alone it's clearly unsustainable so one aspect of mccarthy's plan is to get americans back to work which is what you've been talking about how we need to get people back out of, out of, out of, out of the off, in the office and out of their houses, but specifically those who were on Medicaid and food stamps. How important is this, Steve? Well, first of all, let's address that issue of the, I think, as you said, $400 billion a year we're paying on interest payments. Jan, that number is supposed to, by the end of the decade, go to almost a trillion dollars in terms of just debt payments. <laughs> in other words, we'd be paying a trillion dollars just to pay off the interest on the debt. That's an extraordinary thing. We'd be paying more money for interest on the debt that we would on our entire national defense. And I think that should be very alarming to all Americans. Um, so by, you know, basically the plan is to pass at least a one year debt ceiling increase, but get a plan in place that starts to cut some of this spending. And you mentioned the idea of getting people back to work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's maybe provide some work incentives for the welfare programs to get people who've been on welfare now for three years since COVID hit back in the labor force. Uh, let's uh, produce more American energy here at home and we could put more people to work then and we could also raise uh, tax revenues from the receipts from the from the uh, oil and minerals that we mine. So there are a lot of ways we can bring this debt down, Jan, I think a lot of sensible ways. Yeah, and also reduce energy costs if we started doing more domestic energy production here. Uh, one, one aspect uh, of this that they talked about, too, was defunding the IRS and reversing this, this $80 billion that was given to the agency. But, but, Steve, what are the chances we will see this? Is there enough votes in the Senate to overcome perhaps a veto by Biden? Well, remember that the Congress has the uh, power of the purse. The president can't spend money. He has to get the approval of Congress. And with Republicans having a majority in the House, they have essentially a one-house veto. So I feel personally very strongly about this. I think most uh, Republicans do that the idea of giving the IRS 80,000 more agents, many of which would be used to harass, you know, middle class people and conservatives and Republicans. We know that because it happened under the Obama administration. So the weaponization of the IRS, I think, is something that is it's very dangerous. One other quick thing on this, Jan, you may have seen the news that now the IRS is tracking uh, financial transactions as little as six hundred dollars. So that means you go out and buy an air conditioner and the IRS wants to know about it. You know, if you have I have some civil liberty concerns about the government knowing everything about my financial transactions and yeah, the overreach there, a Federal yeah. Reserve governor reiterating that the central bank's job is not done. So what do you think when they when they meet again in two weeks? Are we going to see uh, another interest rate hike? Well, remember, we've had, I think, nine, nine of these Jan, in the last year. So it just keeps going up and up and up and up. And of course, this is the cost of inflation. When you have inflation out of control, you have the Fed has to pull back some of that money with these interest rate cut, uh, increases. My prediction is they'll do one or maybe two more 
uh, interest rate hikes because look, gas prices are starting to creep up again uh, a little bit. And so why do people care about that? Because those those Fed interest rates, Jan, are tied to the mortgage rate you pay. Those are pay uh, tied to your consumer debt interest rates. All you know, all the borrowing that we do, uh, the interest rates are tied to the federal funds rate. So this could be, well, just look at housing. You know, if those inter- the mortgage rates continue to rise, it's gonna it's gonna price a lot of people out of the housing market. Steve Moore, always great to see you. Thanks for joining okay. us here. Have a great week. You too. Thank you.